Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Montage elaborated on President Cyril Ramaphosa's announcements that government will act to ensure that non-ESCOM generation is introduced to South Africa's power short grid. Terence Screamer joins me to discuss these developments. Hi Terence. Hi now. What did the Minister say this week and why is it significant? Well, the Minister confirmed everything that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced in his State of the Nation, some of which was new, some of which is old. But uh, the significance, I think, of it is that uh, the Minister and the President are fully aligned. There had been some questions about that. Even though the Minister had made indications at the investing in mining in Darba earlier in the year that he was going to move ahead with non eskom generation, and there would be uh, sort of by liberalizing the regime for self-generation uh, below me one megawatt without licenses, above megawatt with licenses, but streamlining the process or accelerating the process. Uh, there was still some, I think, confusion because there was also an emphasis on a new state-owned generating company. And uh, it wasn't clear that, for instance, the, the utility scale bid windows, bid window five of the renewable energy procurement program would be launched um, as the president had indicated it would. Then the state of the nation happened and uh, the, uh, the president reinforced that they would, we would be implementing the integrated resource plan, including the bid window five, and we would be doing this on an accelerated basis. And in response to that state of the nation address, Gwede Mantash uh, you know, stuck very much to that script and said, you know, uh, outlined exactly what the integrated resource plan says um, and what capacity will be introduced from now until uh, 2030. And it's obviously got a very big renewable energy component as well as other elements like new coal, battery storage, imported hydro, and, uh, you know, and gas. And it also said that he had already drafted and finalized the necessary uh, Section 34 ministerial det uh, determination to give effect to the integrated resource plan and that this now is serving before NERSA for its concurrence. So it is significant, full alignment between uh, the President uh, and the Minister. Some, uh, some confusion a bit about the state-owned role or the state-owned generator role within this, but uh, generally uh, I think that this alignment that hasn't really been uh, in evidence since October when the integrated resource plan was, uh, was released, I think is now here. There still seems to be some uncertainty, though. Yes, I think, you know, around uh, Schedule 2 changes to the Electricity Regulation Act, this is around self-generation, what should be licensed, what doesn't need to be licensed, how can we accelerate uh, capacity above 10 megawatts. If it's bigger than 10 megawatts, or as the minister described it, as unlimited, can it wheel, can it enter the grid? You know, I think there is, there is a little bit still un uncertainty around exactly how this is going to be implemented practically. So for uh, gold mines or platinum mines or steel companies that want to, are desperate to put in their own uh, uh, generation, I think there are still a few uh, you know, uncertainties hanging over that and whether they'll really get their license. And I think that needs to be sorted out. What well, was uh, helpful, as it seems that the senior government official has been given uh, the mandate to support NERSA in, in its role uh, uh, in terms of getting the, the licensing process or the registration process moving much more smoothly. That's from the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy. And then, of course, the other uncertainty is how long will it take before NERSA provides concurrence. And from that concurrence, whether there's a, or in ga gaining that concurrence, whether there's a need for public consultation and how long that will, will take. And I think that clarity, I'm sure, will emerge so soon. Um, and then once that concurrence and that document is published in the Government Gazette, how long it will take uh, the DMR through probably through its agent, the uh, Independent Power Producer Office, but that's also not clear, and I think we need clarity around that, but that's where the capacity resides to start the procurement process. We know that the IPP Office uh, has been helping the DMRE with this emergency procurement program, the RFI, was issued in December. That closed at the end of January. A lot of responses have come in for that as well. So will the RFI be used to delay 
the utility scale uh, next round, for instance, of the bid window five of the renewable program, or will they be released in parallel? All these questions still need to be answered. But as I said uh, in the f response to the first question, the major progress where there seems to be full alignment between the Minister and the President. What do you think needs to happen now? Well, I think timelines. I think that's what really people want to see. They want to see firm timelines. Tim uh, they want to see when is this, how is this concurrence going to be received from NOSA? Is there any need for public consultation? How long is that going to take? When are we going to start seeing the bid documentation released? We know that um, there was talk about the bid window five bid documentation being adapted uh, to increase the amount of local ownership, black ownership, the amount of localization. So is, is it going to be, um, is there going to be a whole new bid document for bid window five of the renewables program? Or is it going to be in line with what we saw with up until bid window 4.5? which was ar uh, the ironically named uh, expedited round, which was never completed. You know, is it going to be in line with that? So we need to see, you know, practically these very this good alignment and the good announcements. We need to now start seeing practically what it means in terms of the ministerial determinations, publishing that, the concurrence from NERSA, and then what it means for bid documentation. And I suppose the other big thing th that uh, we need to understand is uh, how the state-owned generation company that the minister continues to talk about, even though the president didn't, how that's going to fit into this, how it's going to be capitalized, how it's not going to be an impediment to moving ahead with building a new generation capacity, which is much needed given the state of the system at the moment. And uh, so I suppose there's, there's still, uh, you know, the, the certainty is almost there. We're just about there. We just need to push it right over the line and also deal with these, un, you know, these, uh, these uncertainties around self-generation. Just nail it down once and for all. Allow uh, proper visibility of what the rules are, uh, that there's no, there's no room for uh, uncertainty anymore around that and allow these mining companies and manufacturing companies to do that investment. It's off government balance sheet. It's going to help relieve pressure on the grid. So we should get that going. That's, the, the, that's actually the, the quickest way to start e easing pressure and make sure that this emergency power program isn't a, doesn't become a distraction or delaying point for what we know the RP says we need to do up to 2030. And that is the least co mostly the least cost and least regret route. So really just nail all these things down is, is really what we need to do now. And once we do that, I think we're going to see a lot of action and a lot of investment uh, in this space. There's an appetite for it, and I think it could actually become a key stimulus for the South African economy, which is in desperate need of stimulus. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching, and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.